we always talk about the successful relationship. I want to I want to know about the the failure one, the, and and what did you learn from that, right? So I want you to I'm ask this question real more tightly. What was an unsuccessful relationship that you went through, and what were some takeaways? What, what did you learn that actually helped you develop better relationships today? Now based off the the template that you're using. Yeah, I, I think one of the things is that、uh, we stay too long. When we know that we need to move on,、um, I, I can remember a、uh, relationship of entertaining somebody who with with toxic behavior、um, because of the the lack of healing that they experienced because of the trauma that was in their life.、Um, now, in many cases, because people are not healed, they bleed on people who didn't even cut them.、Uh, they're they're hemorrhaging and hurting. Because of the healing that they have not allowed themselves to to undertake, and a lot of times people go into relationships thinking that somebody's going to complete them. Nobody's going to complete them. Only God does that. Sometimes your healing attracts people who are hurting, and rather than bringing them close, sometimes you just got to social distance and love people from a distance. Here, here it is. Sometimes we're literally trying to love. Hear, hear me clearly. The hell out of people. <laughs> When, when in many cases they need to extinguish those fires and those flames on their own,、uh, we, we're we're imbibing their toxicity. I remember there was a a young lady who told me one time, and and I was wondering why she she had pulled back, and I asked, and was kind of inquisitive. She said,、uh, "I felt as if you were too good for me."、Hmm. I said, "Why would you、uh, feel that?" She said, "I just didn't feel as if I was、uh, a person who was good enough to be in your space." Um, and in many cases, me being you know non-judgmental, wanted to to really just kind of investigate a little bit further and delve into it, and, and finding out that she had some some issues in the past that she needed to really remediate. And、uh, I realized this: whoever you intimidate is who you will eliminate. It it really is a, a place of、uh, somebody who does not see themselves with a, a level of self-esteem, a level of a self-concept. Knowing who they are now, any and everything takes them off the tra- trajectory. So many times we're trying to follow our heart, staying where we don't belong. Sometimes you're the right. Sometimes you're the right uh, uh, gift at the wrong address.、Mm. And based upon that, <laughs> based upon being the right gift at the wrong address, sometimes we're we're trying to follow our heart. When the Bible says the heart is desperately wicked and above and deceitful above all, who can know it? You don't need to follow your heart because sometimes your heart will take you where your mind can't keep you. You got to follow the spirit of God. You got to follow the purpose that He has given you.、And、based upon that, you got to move into destiny rather than being detoured、uh, by avenues that lead to destruction.